Hey, what's going on guys? Oscar Mini here and today's video is going to be a comparison video between the Techno Camon 15 and the Camon 15 Premier, telling you the differences between these smartphones from Techno, how they perform and which of them would suit you. I have timestamps to different sections and the final straight to the point differences in the description if you only want to see those differences listed out. So without taking much of your time, yo guys, let's get started. First things first, let's talk about the boxes here. These two devices come in similar design packages with the major differences being the naming and the camera placement in the front photo. Opening the boxes, you get to see items such as the smartphones themselves, the warranty card, paperwork, micro USB cable, the 10 watt charger from both and the TPU case from each of these boxes, basically same accessories. Now let's move to the design of the Camon 15 and the Camon 15 Premier. While I have the Camon 15 to the left and the Techno Camon 15 Premier to my right, the 15 itself has its button placement same as you'd get from the Premier, with the power button and volume rocker on the right side. And the left side houses a dual SIM tray with a dedicated micro SD card slot. The bottom side houses a down firing speaker grills, micro USB 2.0 port which isn't the best thing to happen in 2020, the mouthpiece opening and the 3.5mm jack ports. Now the front display for the Camon 15 regular device houses a punch hole camera which I'll talk about in a bit, while the front camera for the Camon 15 Premier comes from the pop-up at the top. Taking a look at the rear of both devices, that's where you get to see the major differences in design. The regular one has a rectangular or boxy camera module with four cameras, while the camera setup on the Camon 15 Premier is a single filed quad camera setup module. These camera modules on both of these devices protrude and will have the devices rocking on a flat surface. Well, I'll come back to the cameras in a bit. The fingerprint sensor on the Camon 15 is a perfect circle, while the Camon 15 Premier has a look that seems to be a rectangle with rounded edges. With the major differences about the design out of the way, let's get to talk about the display. On the Techno Camon 15, you get a 720 IPS LCD panel with a punch hole housing the camera, while the Camon 15 Premier has a full HD display to it. And the amazing thing here is you do not get to see any form of distraction in terms of the camera cutout, all thanks to the pop-up camera incorporation. From my use of both devices, it's obvious the Camon 15 Premier has a better display. Even though both of these devices are 6.6 .6 inch in size, you get a better non-obtrusive and more resolution defined display from the Techno Camon 15 Premier. Now let's get to talk about the performance here. Let me throw the quick specs on the screen for you guys to see. You basically get the MediaTek Helio P22 processor, 4 gigs of RAM and 64 gigs of internal storage on the Camon 15, while the Camon 15 Premier comes with the MediaTek Helio P35 processor, which is an octa-core processor clocked at 2.3 gigahertz, 6 gigs of RAM and 128 gigabytes of internal storage. Both of these devices run on iOS 6, which runs on top of Android 10. In terms of speed and performance, you get the best performance from the Camon 15 Premier. Here's a speed test showing how apps run on these devices. Now pricing is one determinant when getting a smartphone and let's talk about how these devices are priced in the retail market right now. The regular Camon 15 retails for 73,000 Naira or about $185, while to get the Techno Camon 15 Premier, you need an additional $55 to get this device for 95,000 Naira or $250. So if the features such as the camera, performance, storage and that display are worth $55 for you, you'd probably have to go with the Camon 15 Premier. In terms of battery life, the regular Techno Camon 15 is a clear champ, no doubt. It comes with 5000mAh battery as opposed to the 4000mAh battery you get in the Camon 15 Premier. The Camon 15 can easily take you to the next day of use, considering the fact that it has to power less resolution in display and a less tasking processor with a 25% more powerful battery. The Camon 15 has a 60 megapixel punch hole camera a quad camera setup at the rear with 48 megapixel computed main sensor, a QVGA for low light, a 2 megapixel macro lens with LED flash. 
The Camera 15 Premier on the other hand has a 64 megapixel computed main sensor, 5 megapixel ultra wide and macro lens, 2 megapixel depth sensor and a QVGA for low light situations. From the photos, the color reproduction on the front facing camera have this warm look to it on the Camon 15, while the Camon 15 Premier has more magenta to the image. Besides that, the Camon 15 Premier gives you a much more detailed photo. Both smartphones tend to give similar processed images from the rear, except that most times, the Camon 15 tends to give this darker image out of the camera. And the only way to go about this is when you adjust the exposure yourself. I think this is put in place to counter for overexposure, and it all boils down to which you prefer in handling exposure. In this photo here, the Camon 15 came closer to what was seen than the Camon 15 Premier. And this is one of the few cases where the later misses the color or white balance while taking a photo. I realize the AI tends to auto balance to what it feels is best for the photo and that somehow depends on the colors it senses, just like this other photo too. In this low light shot, that's without low light feature turned on, you can see the sensor and the processing on the Camon 15 Premier comes off better. But in this case, while trying to balance for the window, it got other places darker. This can easily be corrected if you tap on the darker side of the image while taking the photo or the picture and that isn't a problem. As far as portraits go, the Camon 15 Premier is a clear champ with properly exposed and softer shadows in the images. I think that's a better processing thingy going on here and a better bokeh perception too. For videos, both shoot at 1080p for the front and rear cameras. So if the camera is the main thing you're looking out for, then go with the Techno Camon 15 Premier. Now let me get to talk about the major differences between these two smartphones like listing them out for you guys to see. If you want to know the major differences summarily between the Techno Camon 15 and the Techno Camon 15 Premier, then here you go. The Techno Camon 15 has a 16 megapixel punch hole camera at the rear which is a little obtrusive when compared to the 32 megapixel pop-up camera module accounting for the non-obtrusive experience with the Camon 15 Premier. The main lens on the Techno Camon 15 can be computed to 48 megapixels versus the 64 megapixel sensor on the Camon 15 Premier, leaving the Premier with a better camera system and more details in the photos. If you want the best battery life, the 5000mAh battery on the Camon 15 is way better than you get on the 15 Premier, considering that you have less pixels to push, but the battery is better off on the Techno Camon 15. Speaking of pushing pixels, you have a 720 display on the Camon 15, and remember it's got that punch hole while the Techno Camon 15 Premier has a 1080p panel no punch hole or notch, accounting for a way better media consumption experience. For processing, you clearly get the winner with the Camon 15 Premier, having a MediaTek P35 processor as opposed to the Camon 15 which has a P22 chipset. So if you want the best in terms of camera, processing power, display and user experience, the Techno Camon 15 Premier is the one to pick. But this comes at an extra $55 cost or 22,000 naira. But if you need a device with a relatively decent camera, better battery life and you don't pixel peep, I mean the display is pretty much okay for a lot of people, then hold on to getting the Camon 15 itself. And there you have it, my detailed comparison between these two smartphones, the Camon 15 and the Camon 15 Premier. Do let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Like, share, subscribe if you haven't done that already. Other than that, it's goodbye and I'm going to catch you in the next one. Kawidate.